Hello guys, welcome to Dennis Tech Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms. With Google Forms, you can create surveys and quizzes. Now, one neat thing about Google Forms is that it is completely free. All you need to do is to get a functioning Google account to access it. So by the end of this video, you should know how to use Google Forms, how to customize it to your own preference and a lot more. So let's get right into that. Here yeah, I am in my browser and I'm signing into google.com. Now to get access to Google Forms, all you need to do is to hover your mouse up to this Google Apps button and then you're going to scroll all the way down. And then down here I have the Google Forms app. So I'm going to click on that. Or you can simply access Google Forms by searching for forms.google.com. That will also land you right here in the startup page. So here we are within Google Forms startup page. At the top right here, I can create a new form by clicking on this blank button. Next to the blank button, I have this already created template that I can choose from to start my project. Now, this will hasten up your work and save you a lot of time of creating a form from scratch. Now, when I click on this template gallery button, it exposes more templates in different categories, as you can see right here. So you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want. So I'm going to go back to the startup page again. So right under the templates gallery, I get to see all the recent forms I have created in the past. So I have three right here and I can also choose how I want to view them. So I can view them in list view or in grid view. You also have source options right here so you can source them however you want. So that is basically it for the start page. I'm going to start creating a new form right now. So you see how to use Google Forms. You can follow along with this tutorial to help you get a better understanding. Now to create a new form, I'm going to click on this blank button and immediately it's going to land me in a blank Google Forms page. So right here, I can start creating my form. As you can see right here at the top, I have two different or three different categories. I have the questions, I have responses, and I also have settings. So for now, we have not created any questions, so there is no response. So we are going to concentrate more on how to create questions for your survey. So down here, where I have this title, untitled form rather, I can give the form or the survey a title. So let's say for instance, I want to create a survey on this video you are watching right now. So let's say Google Forms Viewer Survey. So after giving it a title, down here you can give it a description. Now within the description, you can give a little bit more context to help people understand what you actually expect from them as they go through the survey. So let's say for instance, I'm going to type in, let me know what you think about the video. Down here, you can format the text. You can make the text bold, you can make it italics, you can underline it, you can even insert a link, you can insert numbers and bullets, and then with the last button, you can get rid of all the formatting you did. So now we have entered your description and a title for the survey, it's time to start creating our questions, or it's time to start adding questions. To do that, you can simply hover your mouse up to this add question button to add or create a new question. But, get, but down here, Google Forms was kind enough to give us a template of a question. So now when I click on this, you see it expands the entire section. So up here within this field is where I can actually type in the question I want to ask. So let's say for instance, I ask, have you watched my Google Forms tutorial? So immediately after I typed in the question, down here I get suggestions on what options I want to add to the questions. So right here I have yes, no, and maybe. So I can go ahead and click on whichever one I want to be part of my question. Or if I want them all, I can simply click on this add all button and immediately all the options will be added. So right here I have yes, no, and then maybe. At the top right here next to the question, I have this button that I can use to import medias. For instance, I can import a picture or a photo with this question. Next to that, I have this drop down menu. Now, with the drop down menu, I get to choose what type of question I want my question to be. By default, it is set to multiple choice question. Now, that is just the right type of question I want this my first question to be. So, with the multiple choice question, my viewer can choose between yes, no, and maybe. I can choose to make the questions check boxes. I can make it a drop down. I can make it file upload, that is if I want them to upload files, but I don't want that, I'm going to cancel this. At the top right here, I have short answer and paragraph. So let's say for instance, I asked a question that requires just a simple and short answer, a sentence at most, I can go ahead and select short answer. Now when I select short answer, 
the viewers will be able to enter a very short answer within this field. Now, right under short answer, I have paragraphs. Now, with paragraphs, the viewers can enter longer answers, paragraph long answers. So on the right hand side of the question, I have these different buttons down here. So with the first button, like I already showed you, you can use to add a new question. Next, you can import a question. So when I click on that, so right here, I can import a questions from my recent forms I created. Next to that, I can add title and description with the add title and description button. I can also add an image. I can add an image with the add image button. I can add a video and then I can create or add a section. So I just created my first question. I want to create another one. So to do that, I'm going to click on add question again. And then down here, you see a new question is created. So maybe on this one, I'm going to ask, why haven't you watched my video? And then next, I'm going to select what type of question this is. I don't know why the viewer hasn't watched the video. So his answer might be short. It might be long. So to be on the safer side, I'm going to select paragraph. So that's okay. So let me look at this first question again. Okay, let's set this back to multiple choice. So my first question is a multiple choice question. And then the second one is a paragraph question. And down here you see it allows a long answer text. So if you look at the way these questions are, with the first question I asked, if they have watched my tutorial on Google Forms. So if the person answers no, then I want to ask them why they haven't watched the video. But if the person answers yes, it doesn't make sense to ask the person why they haven't watched the video. So I want to do this in a way that when the person says yes, it is going to bypass this second question that says why they haven't watched the video and then move on to the one after it. But if they say no, they will have to answer this second question that says why they haven't watched the video so to do that first of all let's create a section now to create a section or add a section you can click on this add section button at the bottom right here and then you see down here that a section is added so i have section two of two so this question is supposed to be part of section two or it's supposed to be in section two so to move this question to section two, I can simply click and drag it down to section two like this. And there I have the question down there. So it is no longer part of section one. So in section one, I only have one question. And then in section two, I have the other question. So for the second section, I am going to add a title. So let's make this one. I haven't watched your video. So after doing that, I'm going to head back to question one again or the first question and then I'm going to click on it and then down here I have this ellipsis or these three dots so I'm going to click on it and then down here I get these options I have description I can add a description and then I can and then I have this go to section based on answer so when I click on that so right here I can assign a section to an answer so that when a person selects or chooses a particular option it is going to take them to the next section depending on what answer they choose. So like I said, if a person chooses no, I want them to tell me why they haven't watched the video. So I'm going to assign the second section to this answer. So I'm going to select go to section two. And then for the yes answer, I'm going to assign it to a third section. So let's create a third section. So I'm going to title this third section other questions. And then I'm going to go back to the first question and then down here, I'm going to assign the third section to the yes answer. So I'm going to say other questions. So right here, I, so right here I have the third section, the other questions section assigned to the yes answer. So if you select yes as your answer, it is going to bypass section two and take you straight to section three. But if you select no, it is going to take you to section two where you will have to answer why you haven't watched the video yet. So that is it. So for this third one, I might just assign the third section to that so that when the answer may be, it will still take them to the third section. So for each response here, I now have a section assigned to them. So let's quickly test this out to make sure that it's working properly. To do that, I'm going to hold my mouse up to this preview button. 
Now, when I click on that, it is going to load the page. So down here, I have the first question that says, have you watched my Google Forms tutorial? So when I click on yes, and then click on next down here, you see it takes me to the other question section. But if I click on back, and then I select no, and then click on next. You see down here, it says, why haven't you watched my video? So this actually looks good. It is working fine. So I'm going to go back to Google Forms. So right now I am confident that my questions are functioning well. Down here, I can duplicate a question by clicking on the duplicate button. So right now I have two identical questions right here within the form. But if I don't want to do that, I can simply get rid of the question by simply clicking on the delete button or this trash can icon and that question is gone. Next, you can make a question required. That is, you can make a question very vital or necessary for them to answer. That is, if they don't answer that particular question or if they don't answer the particular question, they will not be able to move on. So to do that, you can simply toggle this required on. But I don't want that, so I'm going to toggle this back off. So next to that, you have these three dots, more options button. We already saw how we can use the go to session based on answer option. Now up here we have this description. Now with the description, you can add a bit more context to your question to make people understand what is required of them for a particular question. And then at the bottom, we have shuffle option order. Now when you select that or when you check that, and then we we'll go back to the preview section, you see that the order in which these options are have changed. So right now we have no first, maybe in the middle and then yes. Meanwhile, in the form, we have yes first, no in the middle, and then maybe comes last. Shuffle option order simply randomizes the options. So I'm going to uncheck that because I don't need that. So back to creating the form. So I'm going to scroll down to the last section right here, the order question section. Now, if you look at this, right now, we don't have any question added to this section. So I'm going to quickly add a question. So I'm going to select add question, and then I'm going to ask, what video do you want to see next? And this question is not a paragraph question. We just need a short answer for this one. So I'm going to select short answer. So for this question, when I click on these three buttons down here, or the more options button, I get this response validation option. Now, when I select that, so what response validation means or do is that depending on what a person enters as their answer in this section or in this question, it is going to make sure that that answer meets my given criteria for that question. So down here, I can validate my answer based on numbers, text, length, and regular expressions. So let's say, for example, I want to validate my answer based on text. So I can simply select text and then over here on the text. So let's say I want them to enter something like python tutorial so right now i have a python tutorial as my valid answer so if a person enters anything different from python tutorial it is going to reject the answer it will not be the correct answer so let's add one more question now this time i want it to be a linear skill question now in this question i am going to ask how likely are you going to recommend this video to your friends and then down here, you can select what scale you want the answer to be in. So you can select, let's say, on a scale of 1 to 10. And then down here, you can add two labels. So let's say for the first label, you are going to add not likely. And then for the second one, very likely. And lastly, for this form, I want to add or insert a text. So I'm going to select this add title and description button. And then up here, I'm just going to simply type, please do well to subscribe to this channel. So right now I am done creating my form. It's looking all good, but I just noticed that we haven't added a title to the form. At the top right here, the form remains untitled form. So let's name this Google Forms Viewer Survey. Next to the title, we have this button up here. So when you click on that, right here, you get to choose where you want to save your form. So you can put it within Google Drive. Or when you click on this new folder button, you can create a new folder for the form and the form will be saved within Google Drive. At the top right, you have these different buttons up here. So with the first button, the customize theme button, you can customize how you want your form to look. That is, you can edit the text. 
you can give it a preferred font and font size so down here within the font you have a huge library of fonts that you can choose from you can also select or give it a specific font size you can select fonts and font size for the header for the question and then for the text so down here you can add an image or a picture as your header by simply clicking on this choose image or choose an image button so down here you can select an online header available in google forms or you can upload one from your local storage down here you can choose a color theme as you can see right here i have it set to purple you can make it a different color if you want and then you can also choose a background color as you can see right here and then you can also choose a background color when you're done you can close out of this and next to that we have the preview which we have already seen how it works and then next you have the undo and then the redo button and then next you have the send button now within send you can actually send this to people via email or you can create and share a link to the form with other people as you can see right here this link is a bit long you can make the link shorter by clicking on shorten url right here and then you see that the link has be has been shortened so right here you can go ahead and hit on the copy button right here and then paste it wherever you want when you click on this button right here down here you can copy this html code so that you can embed the form within a google site so you can simply copy the code and then paste it on the site you can also share this form on facebook and twitter so let's close this next to the send button you also have these three buttons or this more options button so right here you can make a copy of your right here you can make a copy of your form you can move it to b you can get prefilled link you can print it you can add collaborators so with the add collaborators button you can do a collaboration with other people to help in the creation of the form so now we are done creating our form let's quickly preview it so i'm going to head over to this preview button and then click on it so down here I have the first question that says, have you watched my Google Forms tutorial? So I'm going to click on next, yes. So I'm going to click on yes, and then click on the next button down here. And then the next question, it says, what video do you want to see next? So I said Python tutorial. And then next you say, how likely are you going to recommend this video to your friends? Very likely, I mean, why not? And then it says, please do well to subscribe to the channel. And then click on the submit button. And then up here, I get this feedback and say your response has been recorded. So I'm going to get back to the form. So back on the form, up here within responses, I already have one feedback or I already have one response. And then when I scroll down, you see down here, I get insights. So right down here with the responses, I can review the results. So I have multiple ways I can review the results. So for the first one, we have summary. So within summary, I get a summary of how all the questions are doing so right here i have each questions and how they are performing and then i can go in to view each question to see what the responses are or i can click on individuals and then i can go ahead and see each individual's answers to the questions here i can so let's say for instance i don't want to be getting responses anymore for this survey i can simply turn off the accepting response button I can toggle it off and then right here it says not accepting responses so that is it guys that is how to use google forms if you find this video helpful do well to give this video a like and also do well to subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you get notified when i post a new video thank you and i'll see you on the next one bye